Hi, my name is Chris. Welcome to the Jiffy Lube Check and Change Series, where highly trained Jiffy Lube technicians teach you how to do some simple preventive maintenance checks on your vehicle to help you save money down the road. Today, we're going to cover how to jump a vehicle's battery. It's pretty easy to do, and learning how to do it could really help you if you ever find yourself stranded with a dead battery. Today I'm going to show you how to jump your vehicle's battery. All you need is a trusty pair of jumper cables and we'll be ready to get started. Make sure both vehicle's engines are turned off. It's a good idea to turn the radio and air conditioning controls to off as well, so you don't drain even more of the battery. Once we release the hood, find the battery. Its location will vary depending on the make and model of your vehicle. Okay, now it's time for the cables. This can be dangerous and you want to make sure you follow the proper procedures to make sure this is done safely. Take the positive clamp, the red one, and connect it to the dead battery's positive post, which is labeled with the plus symbol. Next, connect the opposite positive clamp to the jumper vehicle's positive post, and then the negative jumper's battery to the negative on the dead car. To ensure this is done safely, we recommend that you connect the remaining negative cables to any solid unpainted metal part of the engine on the dead car. Only use a negative post on the dead battery as a last resort. Not placing the negative cable directly on the dead battery negative post minimizes the chances of any problems. Now you're ready to safely start the vehicle with a good battery. Let it run for a minute or two while raising and holding the engine speed. Okay, it's time to start the vehicle with the dead battery. If it doesn't fire up right away, that's okay. It may take a short period of time to raise the level of the charge in the dead battery to start. Once it's revived, disconnect the cables in the opposite order you put them on, like so. It is recommended that you have the battery of the dead vehicle checked to ensure whether or not you need a new battery. Just follow these simple guidelines to safely jump a vehicle battery next time the situation arises. Remember to have jumper cables handy so you can leave worry behind. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other helpful how-to videos.